Hey, Tara from a template team here. Excited to bring you a new collaboration with the Remix team, our new Remix K-pop stack <laughs> that gets your Remix application deployed in Netlify um, without having to give a credit card or anything. We'll just get you rolling, get you deployed, get your projects up there and fast. I wish I had music, some K-pop music license to do this. Uh, it would be playing right now, but I don't, so it's not. So here we go. <laughs> We can jump right into the repo where we have the live example. This is what the site looks like. You have this beautiful image. Uh, it tells you what tools we use. You can hit sign up. Um, there is email validation authored through Superbase. You can create a an account and then create notes um, of whatever you like. You can save that note. This is all being saved to Superbase as well. You can log out, log back in with those same credentials and you should see your note on the left hand side. It does exist and you can also delete it. So knowing now what it is, <laughs> I want to show you in the repo. This is a uh, Netlify dash templates forward slash Kpop stack. We have a bunch of information in here of what's in the stack, the processes to go through development, what you need, uh, like these environment variables, show you where to set it in the UI. Um, of Netlify and then also just running it locally, uh, some things to step you through Netlify dev, the database, the information of not only what you need, but like screenshots of where to find it, um, as well as stepping you through creating a database in Supabase, say that five times fast, um, <laughs> and also what the SQL queries that we made for this app look like, um, as well as those actual queries, the code for that there. Um, so yeah, Prince made all of these diagrams to really help you find everything you need to know for that database information, as well as deployment, CI, CD, um, and a slight spattering of testing information as well as linting and formatting. Okay, so if we go through the process of setting this up, uh, we're gonna use the deploy to Netlify button, but you can also use that create remix command um, through the through using Remix's library. Uh, I show you this process because with this one, it'll set up a repo and a Netlify project for us. Um, and I just want to show you the uh, environment variables that you'll need, which are in build and deploy uh, environment. See, it's magically, they're there already. <laughs> so that's the session secret, Supabase, Anon key, and Supabase URL. All that information of where to find that is in the repo. Um, once you have that, you'll want to trigger a new deploy now that you have that new information in there. So when we want to develop locally, we go ahead and clone that repo that we just made. Then we'll change into that project directory. And from there, we actually want to link this with our Netlify account, this uh, our local directory. So we do Netlify link. And in doing so, we'll use that uh, remote origin through GitHub and it'll find our site with that on um, through our Netlify account. So now we want to install all the dependencies for the project using npm i for install. Then we'll run npm run dev, which will run all of the remix setup and build. Plus it will do and Netlify dev, which gives you all of the environment variables since we linked our account. So yay, they're there already. So now we can go back and see that our build is complete and we'll see the preview of the site to know that we have a site. Yay. And with that, you are set. You are deployed to Netlify with your Remix application ready for K-pop adventures to come. Thank you for joining me. Kumsamida.